To implement high impact generative AI use cases, CEOs need to keep people at the core of their implementation project and act now to create a strategic workforce plan, review their operating model and embark their employees onto this exciting transformational journey. With HR, CEOs need to develop strategic workforce plans to build a workforce that will be competitive 10 years from now. And therefore, this plan should anticipate the talent and skills needed for the workforce to adopt generative AI and determine how to develop this workforce through upskilling, reskilling, or attracting new talents. Through generative AI's ability to create first draft content, individuals will spend less time on creating content and will have more time for other activities. For example, marketing teams can spend more time building relationships and creating brand strategies. Managers will also need to know how to lead an AI augmented workforce. CEOs also need to review their operating models, specifically identifying where the most important AI models should sit. Should they be managed centrally or in each department? We believe platform models with centralized data management have proven to be the most efficient for bionic organizations where humans and AI work together. And uh, platform models have been shown to reduce data silos and encourage cross-functional collaboration. However, it is very important for CEOs to understand that they won't be able to implement generative AI without the full endorsement of their teams. Even when implementing traditional AI, companies are six times more likely to achieve significant financial benefits when their employees personally get value from AI. As individuals are experimenting, we are seeing a range of reactions from this makes my job so much easier and fun to this can do my job better than me, will I be replaced? So CEOs need to take all reactions into account when creating a change management plan to cultivate a culture that embraces AI like a coworker.